20 fights better. <laughs> oh, I know. Hi, everybody. It's Atlas again. Uh, I, I'm back with a new mat that you can't see most of because Richard wants this to be an HD. And uh, with... Stick. Yeah, <laughs> that I have. Anyway, so... Um, I also uh, made a Great Nature deck profile that's more success-oriented, like I promised you, like, what, six months ago now? So let's get started. Um, for my starter, I have Pencil Koala, so he's uh, GB1 when he boosts an attack that hits a Vanguard. You can give something to Dope and a life insurance. Uh, dope is plus 4k and retire, and life insurance is a draw at the end of the turn. Um, four copies of Teacher's Cane of Affection, Big Belly. Yes, I did SP out the whole deck. It's a waste of money, I know. So his uh, stride skill is when you stride on top of him, you can counterblast one, choose up to one card of the success ability from your hand, call it to rear, and then you can choose a rear guard, give it 4k, and at the end of the turn, draw and retire. So you don't have to call something with success. You can do one, then the other. So that's nice. It's a flexible still. And then also GB2, if you have an empty field, all of the cards in your hand get grade plus one, which means you can strive with the grade two, and also all of your successful units get plus 4k, but that's not a thing you're going to use. Um, two copies of Old Belly. So if, uh, I'm sure you have saw this before, but... GB2, when he attacks Vanguard, you give something to dope and life insurance, and then his stride skill is you counterblast one, choose up to two rear guards, they get plus 4k, and then the skill, if their column hits a Vanguard at 20k or greater, you get to draw a card. So, pretty neat. You typically want to be on New Belly, but Old Belly is also good. It's mostly just for the Big Belly name. Um... Four copies of Crayon Tiger, because... Those aren't SP. <laughs> I mean, there is no way to get them SP'd. If I could, I would, you so... Can make them. I prefer more on the Toned Belly. Oh my god. To oh, Baked Belly, Toned Belly. Fuck off. I, you guys kept to get it together for the grade threes. I'm proud of you. But anyway, so all right. So his uh, skill is when he's boosted and he attacks Vanguard. Counterblast one, stand something, give it a dope and a life insurance. It's pretty much the lifeblood of great nature. It's on the on the mat <clears throat> facing this way. So uh, you'll get to see it when there's a fight video with this. Um, let's see four copies of Barcode Zebra. What has Atlas been drinking? I have no idea. So uh, his uh, his skill is. Uh, when you ride or call him, you look at the top card. If it's a grade one or two, you call it to rear, and then if not, you shuffle your deck. So, uh... What year is this? I know, right? <laughs> so, basically, this is the Devil Summoner clone. You run 13 it's grade the twos. Turtle clone? The Devil Summoner. No, it's oh, the, no, it's the, the turtle, turtle clone. Right, yeah. So, um... The turtle was a meme back in PA. It, that's true. The turtle and the seal. Yeah. It's actually... Anyway, so... The... The thing with this is this allows for early aggression, and also if you dope it, it's an 11k, so that's pretty cool. Um, oddly enough, he's like my favorite great, uh, like, turn two ride, because whatever, it doesn't really make much of a difference yeah, between 7 and 9k. Hey, Alice, who gave you the idea to run that zebra? That would be Matt. Hi, Matt. I miss you. All right. Uh, Your Matt's right there. <laughs> Dude. You know, okay. Go on with your video. Go on with your video. Go on with your video. I miss no, him. we got a 10-minute ad revenue. <laughs> 10 minute ad revenue. revenue. Alright, uh, two copies of You're Not My Real Dad, a.k.a. Problem Child Grey Belly. So his, uh, he's got success 20k, and then GB1 when he attacks a Vanguard. Uh, if he's successful, you can Soul Blast 1, choose two rear guards, give them a uh, plus 4k, and then at the end of the turn, draw and retire. So this is typically what you want to use on your off on turn, or on a, on a turn where you're trying to clear your board so you don't get screwed over by Link Joker. Or something. He's a big offensive force, and he's pretty good. Um, I did run three before, but I had to up the grid one count once we got Impede Dragon because that was a big pain in my butt. So, moving on. Two copies of Field Glass Otter. Uh, on call, you can pick something and give it a dope. And then uh, success 20k, and at the end of the turn, if he's successful, you can bounce him to your hand. Um, there is a card in Japanese called uh, Tapering Beaver that I hope we get in English one day. When we do... <laughs> Drop one otter for a beaver, but for now... Okay, I... You guys... I looked down for ten seconds. They're strangling each other. Moving on. I was just saying, they're minding my own business. Okay. We're not strangling each other, we were enveloping each other. Look at you with those ripped jeans, don't tell me you weren't asking for it. It's a little creepy. Anyway. Alright, uh, last grade two is one copy of Lesser Writer. So he's got success 20k. Um, and then him holes for a reason. <laughs> and then his skill is uh, when when he becomes successful, all of your success uh, units with a success ability get plus two k and resist. 
Um, so this is pretty good if you're like going up against Narukami or something, you know, and Pete's coming, you can have your... Why anyone uses Narukami? No, like, for, <laughs> for real, it's actually good now. I know that's weird. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, um, and then his other skill is act, you can soul blast and have him become successful artificially. Um, it's important to note that when he becomes successful, all the, like, all your other success units don't become successful... They just get the 2k and resist. I wish I could be successful. I know, right? He's got to cheat his way to the top. Ooh, All right. That's the way to do it. Yep. Good, good school. All right. Four I copies of the GPG, Is honestly. That SP? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That, that needs to be like a voice clip, so you're just going to have that every time an SP yeah. card shows. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, every time I'm not SP <laughs> card <laughs> so. All right. So he's he's your own flippy PG, and he looks fucking dope as a P why, why aren't you running the um, success PG? Because uh, mm -hmm. counter blasts are a thing you have to worry about. That was, you need all the suck you can get. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that was in a men's bathroom and it was one time. Moving on. Uh, four copies of the Stride Fodder. Minus three. Is that an SP? <laughs> I thought you had people sleeping in this house. Anyway. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's uh, it's your Stride Fodder. It's a Stride based deck. You want to search out stuff and it's SP. Moving on. Special um, penis. All right, four copies of Traveling Mamanga. So he's got success 20k, and then at, at the end of your turn, if he's retired and he's... Six, I need to stop looking up. Uh, okay, so uh, at the end of your turn, if he's retired and was successful, you can search your deck for any grade 2 or greater card and add it to your hand. So basically, you're just going to use this to grab crayon tigers. Um, but you can get pretty much anything. And oftentimes, he's a really good dope target, so you can, like, make this really huge and then get rid of it at the end of the turn. Two copies of Ari Belly. So uh, he can't be retired if you have a big belly vanguard, so if you're on grade three, he's not getting moved. Um, and then also, when he boosts a unit with a success ability, you can Soul Blast, give it 4k, and then at the end of the turn it's retired. So, typically what you're going to use this for is just kind of have it in the back row to have, um, when, no, I want it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> when playing, when playing against Narukami, uh, if they do impede dragon, you have to bind something, so I would throw down, like, you know, some kind of decoy behind Vanguard to get rid of. And then if you're typically going to have a bigger board than them, so they're going to, you have to choose another thing to retire. So you just pick him and you carry on with your life. Awesome. Moving on. Um, one copy. Why not Stamp Sea Otter? Because Stamp Sea Otter is not a 7K. Uh, but it's cute. That's true. It's cute. It's cute AF. Anyway, so uh, label Penguin. Penguin Feather? Yeah, uh, he's GB1. Uh, on call, you give something. You give something the red text at the end of the battle that it attacks. If it was 20k or greater, you soul charge counter charge. So um, you do care about, care about soul just a little bit now with uh, with gray belly, but it's mostly just for the unflip because you you burn through counter blast like it's freaking paper, which I guess yeah labels. Um, <laughs> four copies of the refugee spangles. So she's the new like. Is that a double rare heal trigger? Yeah, it's for the G guard. Yeah. Um, so when you when you discard her for the cost of uh, this Spangled G guard, you can Soul Blast one and then flip a damage if you have less than one damage open. So, so I was tightening it's, this muscle. It's better than just a vanilla heal, so just go with that. Um, four copies of Holder Hedgehog. I've got, I've got a little bit of meat on my butt. See, can, like, you see? can you all shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> I'm not doing uh, anything this time. Is that a foiled critical trigger? <laughs> yes, it is. Is that SP? Oh, no, these are actually SP. Um, pawn Belly, he's the heart no, that pulls. No, it's actually Pawn Belly. I just said Pawn Belly. You said it was SP. Yeah, Pawn, <laughs> oh pawn Belly is SP. Um, so, Big Belly, Tax Vanguard, no, Shove and Soul, Draw, plus 5k. Alright. Um, <laughs> so, uh, one... Polish penguin because no, he's that's not foil. Yeah, but it, but it's the best crit trigger in the land, better than Flodol. And then three copies of Castanet Donkey, so he's a uh, he's your Mardol clone. Um, it's good getting random draws at times, so nine crit three draw. You're not running Adelaide. What the fuck? Oh my god! Shut up, Wales. <laughs> the... No one likes the grade the grade two frog performance. <laughs> 
the grade zero for Spike Brothers now. Mm. <laughs> All right. Different story. All right. On, <laughs> on to the G deck, you fucking delinquents. All right. So we have. We're all in. Is that a GR? Yes, it is. Is that an SGR? It's an SGR. All right. Omniscient Dragon Afunk. So his skill is you act counterblast, unflip any G units. So typically you're just going to do Seabreeze. And then uh, you choose any number of rear guards, and for everyone you chose, he gets plus 4k, and then the things you picked can't be retired for the turn. So typically what you'll do is you'll do this on a gray belly turn, and you're, at the end of the turn you'll just draw like four cards and your field stays. Um, it's a really good first stride, sometimes you can even kill if you had an aggressive enough early game. Um, so this is typically going to be your first stride, or otherwise you'll go into um, Hermthurs. One Sea Breeze that I was just talking about, because it's a G deck. Uh, one copy of Omniscient Stride and Hrimthurs, so at the end of the battle, the attack Vanguard, you can Soul Blast, give something 4k, then you can have it gain another 4k, and if you did it that time, if the, thi if the thing you boosted got is at uh, 20k or more, you draw a card, so uh, that's what you want to be aiming for, and if you, if you did it the second time, the thing you doped gets retired. This is better if you <clears throat> didn't open up as well, and you don't want to commit as much to the field, you can just kill something off and get some draws. Um, so he's your other first stride option. Uh, let's see, one copy of Kill Timka, if the game happens to be doing long, he's success 25k, and then when he becomes successful, you choose four cards from your drop, put them to the bottom of the deck, uh, pick something and give it a dope and a life insurance. So this is really funny when you have, like, three cards in deck and you put, like, four crits on the bottom, and you're like, oh yeah. Alright, four copies of Mana Garm. So, for some reason, I have found that the Guard Restrict has been coming more and more in handy over time. So, uh, Counterblast, Flip, choose two rear guards that get plus 4k in red text from the attack of Vanguard if they're at 20k or more. Your opponent can't guard with grade ones or higher. So this was the finisher originally, and then it kind of got phased out because of G-guards, but now it's good again. Um, and I have no idea why, it's just how it's been testing, so I'm just going to go with how it is. Um, two copies of Sage Same Professor Big Belly. Kick it, Richard. Oh, cool, it's an SP. <laughs> okay, close enough. So, uh, his skill is uh, GB2, Counterblast, Flip of Is that SP? There you go. <laughs> Counterblast, Flip of Copy of himself. Ch uh, choose you missed us and you know it. I know, okay, so you, you pick a rear guard, it gets plus 4k for every face-up card in your G-zones. Typically, it's gonna get, like, plus 24k or some bullshit. And then uh, you, you can pick a unit, give it red text, on hit, you can stand any number of other rear guards as face-up cards in G-Zone. So this is another way to try and finish. Uh, it's also a good way to get pressure. It's a very good stride overall. It's on that way on the mat, so you'll get to see that soon. Um, only the G-Guards, you have... Oh, right. No, I'll get to that in a second. All right, so you have one copy of Head of Bastion Ardillo. So when you guard with him, you can choose any number of rear guards, kill him off, and then... If you have three or more open rear guard spaces, you get to plus 10k shields. So typically, uh, this is good after you've you know doped your field into submission. So it's just good, um, easy 10k shield. Two copies of uh, our, uh, Kundalini. So when you guard with him, you pick a rear guard, and at the end phase, uh, you give it red text at the end phase, kill it off and counter charge. And if you did that, he gets plus 5k shield. Typically, you want to pick Ari Belly for the target because you just unflip a damage at the end instead of actually having to kill something. Um, and it also gives us, you know, counter charge that we so crave. Uh, one copy of Almiraj. So when you guard with him, you can Soul Blast, yeah, 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 choose up to two that. things from your hand, call him to R, and then choose up to four of your rear guards and give him resist. And even if they hit, they don't retire. So this is good if you're on Old Belly and you need to have a field to, you know, do a stride skill on next turn. Oftentimes, though, I don't find myself using it. I use it as a target for this. Um, so... Is this an SP? No, it's a uh, Fighter's Collection. It's a failure. What does that even, what does that even do? Shel uh, sheltered Heiress uh, Spangled. So her, her <laughs> skill is when you uh, guard with her, you counterblast, flip up a G-guard in G-zone, like all these new G-guards do. And uh, she needs red text. At the end of the battle that all your other guardians went to drop zone, you draw a card for each. So typically what you want to do is if you have a handful of 5Ks, you, you go into this and like 
guard with like you know three four other cards and then at the end of the battle you just draw three four cards to replace them so it's really good if you're behind and you can kind of like replenish your hand after each card to either survive or build a field next turn um, it can also help you go into Stop reaching this so this is the GB8 for Great Nature. GB8. Yeah. So his, his skill is act. You can. It doesn't even look like a GR. That's so shitty. It's not a GR. It's, it's a strike. I said GR. Oh. oh. You dumbass. Listening All right, so, is so hard. All right. So his skill is a GB8. You uh, discard two cards. Uh, choose up to five of your rear guards. They get uh, plus ten k, and at the end of the turn, they die. And then if you have one or less cards in your hand after doing that, he gets plus forty k and a crit. <clears throat> What's important to note is that this effect is not once per turn, so the bigger your hand is, the bigger your field's gonna get. My record so far is like, I think 131k so does center the column. Stack? No, the, the crit does not, because it checks for it at the end of the still. Oh. Yeah, but the, the plus 10k to your field over and over and over. That's cool. Keeps happening. It's a very good GBA. Typically, you'll be able to finish by mana arm, but like, this is an option, and this is a way to kill, and it's super fun to do that. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much the whole deck. Uh, this is what I'm going to be playing at Strandfest at the time of recording this tomorrow. Um, I'm probably going to get flattened, but who cares? I have a good time with this deck, and I hope you all do too. So have a good night, everyone.